directions, graph the equations below. All right, y equals 3 halves x minus 3. Remember, we're going to start with the number without the x on it, so I'm going to start down at negative 3. And then from there, I'm going to go up 3 over 2. Up 3 over 2. Up 3 over 2. And then I will make a nice line. And there we go. I don't need a shade because there's no lesson sign. All right, next one, negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. The first thing that I need to do is get it to say y equals, so I'm going to add 3x to both sides. And I'll get 2y equals negative 6 plus 3x. And then I'll divide all three parts by the 2. So I'll get y equals negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 plus 3 halves x. And again, we start with the number without the x. So I'll start down at negative 3. And then from there, I'm going to go up 3 over 2. So up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2. And actually, it looks like that one turned out to be pretty much the same as number 1. All right, problem 3. Again, we want it to say y equals, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of those parentheses by distributing. So I'm going to have y plus 6 equals negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x. And then negative 1 half times negative 4 is going to be positive 2. Again, to make this say y equals, we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So we'll get y equals negative 1 half x. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. So again, we're going to start with the number without the x. So we'll start down at negative 4. And then from there, I need to go down 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. So my line's going to look something like that. Right? And then x equals negative 2. Again, if the x-axis is horizontal, then an x equal is going to be vertical at negative 2. And that's all we need to do for that one. All right, problem 5. Draw a line with, first of all, a positive slope. So positive slope, I know it's going to go up as I go from left to right. So this would be a line that has positive slope. And I'll label that as A. B, negative slope, which means as I go from the left to the right, the line is going to go down, so that would be B. Zero slope would just be a flat line, so I'll label that as C. And then undefined slope would be just something, if you could think we talked about we can't ski down it because it's so steep, so undefined slope is going to be a straight up and down line. That's supposed to be straight up and down. Alrighty, okay, next problem, y equals 5. If the y-axis is vertical, y equals is going to be horizontal, so I just go to y equals 5 and make a horizontal line. Please notice on all of my lines I have been putting arrows. All right, number seven, determine whether the data below models a function, then give the domain and range. So I need to say whether it's a function and then give the domain and range. So make sure we get both parts. All right, if I'm looking at this, um, I notice right away that I have five, two, and I have five, three. So the input of five has two outputs and that cannot happen. So I'm gonna say no. And I'm just going to say 5 has two outputs, and that is not okay. All right, and then the domain and range. The domain is going to be all of the x values, so it will be 5, 4, and 0. We, I don't need to list 5 again unless I want to. And the range is all the y values, so it will be 2, 7, 3, and 9. All right, the next one says to write an equation for the function below. Um, I'm guessing because it is in we, all we've studied as linear that it's going to be a linear equation. So I believe in most directions it will tell you that. So if we're going to find the equation of a line, what we would like to do is actually um, use two points. I'm just going to use the first and the third point. So I'm going to write them as 1, negative 6, and 8, negative 48. And then what we can do is actually um, find the slope and then find B. So to find the slope, if you'd like to label them x1, y1, x2, y2 y2 minus y1 will be neg negative 48 minus negative 6. And then down below, we'll have x2 minus x1, so we'll have 8 minus 1. I did that right. Yep, okay. So now, negative 48, that will turn into plus 6. That is going to give me negative 42 over 7, and that gives me negative 6. So that's my slope. Then I'm going to pick one of the points. I'm going to pick that first point, and I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. My y value is negative 6. My m is negative 6, my x is 1, plus b, so I'll have negative 6 equals, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, plus b. To get rid of the negative 6, we'll add 6 to both sides, and I will get b equals 0. So I'm going to have y equals negative 6x. I could either put plus 0, or I could just have it as y equals negative 6x.